Let us try out this FM radio. VDR 2 Report. set comes with a little handbook showing many initial experiments so if you build all these simple experiments in the end you will know what you are doing uh, for example how is the amplifier connected to the battery it's very important to observe plus and minus and how is the loudspeaker connected to the capacitor and to the amplifier and so on so here I have a final stage of all these experiments and it's more or less what you find on the last page We have the tuning port and the loudness port with a switch, the battery loudspeaker, the radio module, the amplifier and all the small parts. So if something doesn't work fine, the easiest way to find out what's wrong is to use a meter and to measure some voltages. Let me show you this. This meter is switched to a range of 20 volts DC. Now I switch on the radio but keep it at low voice. And now I can find out if everything is fine. First let me see if the uh, battery voltage is ok. I can find the negative pole here when it's switched on and the positive here on this capacitor. So it's 9.5 volts because it's a completely new, completely new battery. Very important is the 3 volts regulator and I should find 3 volts on this point 2.99 is ok and it should be found at the bed pin of the radio module 2 ok so this is fine uh, I can try if the radio is working right now Tune again. Okay, it's working. Now let's let's make any kind of mistake. For example, I take out this little capacitor, which is the input feeding of the amplifier. So of course, no sound anymore can try whatever I want, it doesn't work. Now I can try if the amplifier is working at least. Let me take off the meter and I go back to an early experiment. Um, a tone generator made of made up of uh, feedback from the output to the input at pin number three so let me try to build this one two three oh I can't 
here a fine noise of clicking. Let me try this also. I use a wire and touch the inputs and I can hear a very fine noise. Now I complete the feedback. And I can hear a noise. This noise is uh, made up by the feedback of the amplifier. So it means the amplifier is working fine. The loudspeaker connection is okay, everything else is okay, but I must try to find out what is wrong with the first stages of the radio. Just to show you another uh, type of error, if for example this capacitor is not in, the loudspeaker is not connected to the amplifier. Now I can try this again. No sound of course. I try to repair it now. Working again. So the amplifier is okay. Um, I can put in the, this little capacitor again and the radio is working. <coughs> now let me, let me try to uh, make a different error. I take out the connection to the tuning port. Still works because once the radio has tuned to a station, it will keep it on its own. So, what can I do? Okay, I just try to touch the pins. And I got a different station. But now I can't tune it. So the error must be around the tuning circuit, and I can compare it to the um, to the experiments in the handbook. I find out one resistor is missing. Let me try to repair it. So you see it's, it's difficult to find one's errors in the circuit if I make a mistake. It's not easy to find out um, what have I done and so I have to compare line by line and part by part to find out what's, what's wrong and to repair the circuit. But um, you saw some of the little experiments to find out if parts of the circuits are okay. And if you have a meter, it's not very difficult to check all the functions of this radio. <laughs>